she was here Monday, Judge. Whenever it was. M Monday was two days ago. She waited all day and did not testify. Well, that, that's not the issue. The issue is how long she's on the stand testifying and how oh. long every witness is on the stand testifying and how many witnesses there are in this case. It's just a lot. Did, um, did you look at with the state um, any such file before coming here right now? Did I look at it? Yes. Okay. And did you recognize that to be the file that yes. you kept? Okay. Which showing An you envelope. a portion of that file refresh your memory as to what phone number that you had. Your Honor, may we approach? Okay. Uh oh, something's going on with that file. <laughs> An early and long lunch. <laughs> oh man. All right, we'll Amy, you hear that? Early and long lunch. Oh, Amy's gonna be happy. She cannot miss her lunch. So it looks like we're gonna have a little bit of conversation before we actually go to lunch. All right, if y'all want to take a look a lot, at that. A lot of bit of a conversation. Wow. Hold on, let's skip ahead here. Max is ready to go. Oh, there goes Amy, cake time. Your Honor. You're just going to put it back in the condition it was in just a minute ago and then permit them to look at it. Your Honor? Yes, sir. Um, before we ask Investigator Gaither any questions, I would ask the court to inquire of the state when they received this file and how they received this file because we're, we're completely in the blind. Okay. What? We went over to the Atlanta Police Department. When? Is your mic is your mic on? Miss Love again with the prosecutorial misconduct. Um, just before we served, um, I think we called it complete case files from Operation Planners incident. This is where we got this one, the um, other ones that were included in that discovery tranche from the Atlanta Police Department. That's where they came from. The one titled Complete Case Files of 2015 Operation Planners. If the court will allow me, I will ask um, our legal assistants to give me the date that we serve the one, the file called Complete Case Files of Operation Planners. So they okay, and they so the contents the of that file were served files, whenever file. that was? Yes. All right, what led you to suddenly ask Detective Gaither if this was her file? As I was looking through for a particular number, I was trying to find both that photograph where Mr. Zachary had signed A515 Nard on the Brownsville uh -huh. Road photograph. So I was looking for that. And I was just looking through everything that we had. And in looking through it, because I knew I'd seen it somewhere, I found it in this particular file folder. And looking at it, I initially had, I'll show the court what I was about to show. Well, why don't you put it back together? And then, and I know we're asking you to do several things at once. So how about put it back together and then you can finish your answer. All right, what's going on, Miss Love? Because I'm hearing a lot of... Have you ever had a dream that, that you... And I put it, and we took it, yeah. and we, we went over there, and uh, we got the date, and it was actually... Hold this. 
Tragic. Yeah. And Max is just over there snickering. Like, oh, this lady. So she's saying the file that they're looking for was given to them when they sent over all the evidence. Answer as to why. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Now you can finish your answer as to why. She stole my whole swag. Like it might thing. be. She's getting her story together right now, so y'all hold on. And I'm pulling up as well the, the discovery that has been served. Let somebody else do that. You okay, someone else is pulling up. So anyway, Your Honor, um, as I said, I was in trying to, when we were getting ready for Mr. Zachary, um, actually, I think it may have been another witness, Mr. Murphy, but I remembered seeing somebody's handwriting on a picture of someone um, at the at the Browns Mill Road gas station, the Sitco. So as I was looking for that, I started looking for I, I, I said, I remember somebody's signature being on it. I don't remember if I thought it was Mr. Zachary or whomever. In either event, I found this particular, um, the one that we've entered as, anyway, the one that Mr. Zachary signed. So when was it sent? Mm -hmm. um, on 8-5-15. I found that and pulled it out and just started looking at it. I didn't know whose um, file hey, it was. And in fact, about? I sent a text message to Detective Dennis on a particular date asking him whose writing is this on Thursday of last week. And it was a portion of this file that contained a report about Demise McMullen and a kidnapping. And it had Demise, McMull Demise Nard McMullen. So I asked Dennis, whose writing is this? And let's see. I don't see where he wrote me back. But while I was in the back just now, I asked. Sergeant Gaither, whose writing is this? And she said, <coughs> she said, um, oh my God. This I think lady. I asked her in the, like, whose writing is this? And I don't remember whether she said it was hers or Dennis's, but I asked so her. So then, you know, on the lunch break. What the fuck are you talking about? On my lunch break, I went down, you know, to the cafeteria here in Fulton County and I said, hey, to the lunch lady, you know, whose handwriting is this? I called my mama and I FaceTimed her. I said, mama, can you look at this? Whose handwriting is this? Do you know whose handwriting this is? But you know, judge, hey, just disregard the fact that I've been working with this evidence since last Thursday. I just wanted to, you know, make sure everything was good before. Uh, what what are we doing here? Scraping and she scrambling. said, um, I think I asked her in the like. Whose writing is this? And I don't remember whether she said it was hers or Dennis's, but I asked her if this looks like her file. And she said, that looks like my file. What's in it? And I said, here. And I showed her what was in it, the stuff that they were looking at. 
that I was looking at. And she said, it looks like my file. And so I came out here and that's, that's what I asked her. I asked her, did she see that? Did I show her? Did she see it? Is, does it look like her file? And she's answered the way that the court is aware. And we're looking at the discovery that we served, and Mr. Atkins is telling me that we served that in 2022. So I was, well, wait, we're confirming. I'll take that back. We're confirming when it was served. But I know that Sounds we provided this information because after I saw that, I went and looked up. When were the discussions about whether um, Sergeant Gaither's file um, existed or was destroyed in the hack or whatever? When were those, when did those occur? Before or after that discovery was served? I think after, but yeah, but I don't think, I know for a fact that this, whatever was discussed, like when I looked through that file, I don't see in that file either anything that was like actually the copy indicates that it's her. I mean, I didn't either in my quick cursory review of it. In fact, there are some reports from other investigators and I don't see any handwritten notes or anything like that. But um, so, uh, I, I mean, I guess, did, did you recall at this time that what everybody previously thought was that Detective Ga or Sergeant Gaither's file no longer existed? Did she recall or did you, I recall? Did you recall when you went and asked her, hey, is this your file? No. I, oh. She hiding evidence again. Well, you didn't remember that. Did you remember? That, I mean, when when she was like, yeah, that might be my file. Were you like, huh? So it actually exists after all. <laughs> or were you like not even remembering that it didn't exist? No, I remembered when they were asking her questions about um, interviews um, or certain parts, certain things within that she said were within her file, and I have never, I didn't see, that's not in what I have. I wasn't, we've, I've never seen that. So I cannot say no. I didn't say, oh, this now exists because nothing that she said didn't exist exists in there still. Okay. Correct. I didn't see anything. I didn't, if you want to take a look at it, um, and if I'll let you ask to, uh, Sergeant Gaither whatever you want to about it, it, it or if there are still things missing from the it, definition of I'm Brady. sure that, you know, this is obviously a hard copy paper file, and I imagine in this day and age, people don't download everything from the computer. Judge Whitaker, no. We're not doing this. Because it's 2024. Brady doesn't apply. Well, you know, it got everything got hacked. So it wasn't online and it's not it's it's unusual for someone to have a hard copy. What? Come on, man. Max, please, Max. Imagine in don't this day and age, people don't download everything from the computer and maybe she had an electronic file also and that's what she meant, but with y'all can wow. find out can, can i um just wow. clarify the record a little bit yeah um and and i would very much like to look at that file last time wow. and i believe it was last time I, I can't recall how many times investigator gaither has testified but i'm going to say last time she took the stand there were specific things that she said she did mm -hmm. and they were not in the reports given to us i'm i'm aware that the state gave us electronic copies of certain documents right. in 2022. No one's disputing that. She claimed that, well, I did do that and I did document it. Mm -hmm. I wrote reports. Right. And I said, well, where are the reports? Because we had discovery and it didn't have yep. any of these reports pertaining to the mm -hmm. work she claimed she did. And um, so then we, we talked to Judge Glanville about it and Judge Glanville kind of summarily uh, attributed to the hack, which I didn't necessarily agree with, but he also told the state, you need to go to APD and mm -hmm. make due diligence your best to find this file. Everyone was looking for this file. And then apparently the state they had it the whole time. obtained this file and never reported back to the court or to <laughs> defense counsel, hey, this, this file that everyone was looking for last time Investigator Gaither testified, we found it. 
This is what's in it. Here you go. Because my understanding, I haven't looked at it, but other people on the team have, the, the new discovery that was uh, served does not contain that amount of information from the file. That I'm looking at how thick that file is. Withholding um, information. There's like one police report in the new tranche evidence. of information that they're claiming they served after the file. But at no point did anyone no from good. the state tell anyone on the defense, to my knowledge, at least to me, hey, remember that file that you guys were asking about and Judge Glanville instructed us to go find? We actually went and we found this file. And I just don't know how that that happens, that we're learning that this missing file has apparently been discovered. I guess we're going to review it to see. I don't know how we find that, that learn Jeez. about that in the middle of direct testimony. That's just tough for me to reconcile with everyone being above board. So I'm going to renew my motion for mistrial. <laughs> I was waiting for it. He didn't say it. Yeah, I'm reviewing the discovery, actually. That was served discovery one of three. What was this? What was this? I mean, Amy, I, Amy, I'm with you. Amy said, I cannot believe go, this. Anybody I, from the defense that wants to go ahead and take this file and look at it, you're welcome to. And just for the record, uh, sir, I've been informed April 29th uh, was when Gaither, uh, Sergeant Lieutenant Gaither, testified previously. April 29th of this year. Okay. Eight, right. Weinstein said, yeah, let me Go get ahead. this. 8222 is the date that those items were served in discovery. Is it two? And by those items, you mean What's in that? the contents of this brown paper file that's about an inch and a half thick. Is that what you mean? Yes, that's what I'm looking at now, and I'm looking through. Okay. This is what has been and pulled so up. And so it's, I mean. Only in Fulton County, Carmen Y'all can. And so I cannot speak to, um, I can't speak to anything regarding the stuff that was asked about that didn't exist because, one, I don't see it. I don't have it. And. All right. Why doesn't. Both sides, why don't both sides either confirm if you can or um, or otherwise whether the contents of that file, whether labeled at the time as belonging to Sergeant Gaither or not, were served back in 2022. It appears that... Yikes. Um, it looks like we serve one, uh, the date that I just gave, we serve August, what was the other one, the first one, August the... She said 8-2-22. And Look at seven. This. Hey, can we give a round of applause? We're missing Brian Steele to the Avengers right here. Look at these folks. You got Weinstein, you got Shark, you got Matthews, you got Bruce Harvey, the OG. You got Mr. Adams up there. Where's Brian at? Somebody and eleven twenty two as well. That's what I'm looking at. Look at these dudes. And can I ask one more question? Do you know where in the consolidated discovery? Not to cook me so I'm a screen. Screenshot. I'm a screenshot. This. It's like six hundred pages of PDFs. You can buy them all. My spidey sense. I haven't physically looked through that today. I'm pretty positive those two PDFs are those documents because that was that's not a new file. That's like the same file. Get up there, that Brian. That discovery. Back in July, and where again in the consolidated Act 30 through 36, 30 through 36. Correct, correct. And it should say Discovery 1 through 2. And Discovery 1 is July 11, 2022. That's what I think that is. So it may be that the only thing that's new is that it now be maybe realized that this is actually whatever part of Detective Gaither's file still exists. I mean, it's my understanding from what Miss Love has said that it's new to her as well as of today. No, no, that's not what she said, Judge Whitaker. What she said is, I had this, but then I was like, hmm, let me ask Detective Gaither if this is her handwriting. That's what happened.
She didn't say, oh, this is brand new evidence. Look at what is Judge Whitaker doing? That is not what she said. She said she been done had this Detective file. Gaither's That's how they say it here. She been done had it. <laughs> file still exists. <laughs> this is crazy. It's new to us. I mean, it's my understanding from what Miss Love has said that it's new to her as well as of today. No. That we had the red files. We scanned red that files. That it belong. That it oh, might yes, be Detective yes, Gaither. Yes, I'm sorry. Okay, yes, yes, that I didn't know. I know. Okay. Misconduct again. They gonna get her. And I mean, I'm just gonna offer again with the. She said, "Don't talk to me with this mic over here." Miss Lev. Uh oh. Here we go. Maybe when you talk to her outside, and she said whatever she said to indicate, yeah, that might be my file, that you come in and you say to your opposing counsel, hey, do you know what? The file of Detective Gaither's that we thought was entirely gone, well, you know what? Apparently a part of it is this portion that we sent you two years ago. Well, you know, I mean, I, it just I do understand, but I just want to make clear that this is not something that was... we. We tried to conceal from anybody, given we served. It doesn't matter. I just understand, obviously, if they confirm if that they it, already have it. the contents, I'm, that's not necessarily up for debate. It's just that the knowledge that it's Sergeant Gaither's is new. And when you learn it, it would be nice to share it with the other people. And I, yes, um, Your Honor, I understand what the court is saying. But I do also remember when um, being when questions were put upon this witness about the items that she had in her file, uh -huh. no one brought to her the discovery that they already had and said, is this what was in your file? Where is Apparently it? nobody they, knew where this came from. They mm -hmm. knew that this was Detective Gaither's, that this was Sergeant Gaither's investigation. So I don't... The stuff we were questioning her about was not in the discovery. She was claiming she did work it, that was not provided. And, okay, and it may still not exist. And we all know, I can't remember the dates of the hack, but we all oh, know because we practice in Fulton Look County that there was some gigantic, what we call hack, of the whole city and APD legitimately lost a whole lot of files that were never able to be recovered so, I mean, that's just a fact. But we have a paper file, Your Honor. I see that. And the hack does not affect paper files. I understand and, that. And Investigator Gaither specifically testified that the, she wrote reports for certain things. They were in her file that has now been lost. Okay. Now, and so you can ask her when she said that, what did she mean? Ms. Love because, had it like her I account. just said, I mean, all of us in this day and age have things we print out and things we just keep on a an electronic. Judge Whitaker, no. Nope. This ain't it, Judge Whitaker. You cannot do that. You cannot say, oh, well, ask her what she meant because what she was saying was, I had the hard paper copy, but when everything was hacked, the digital copies got deleted. So I was, that's what I was saying. She's giving her, essentially trying to give her an alibi. This is garbage. Come on, Judge, don't, let's not do that. Jeez, man, this is specifically testified that the she wrote reports for certain things. They were in her file that has now been lost. OK, now, and so you can ask her when she said that, what did she mean? Because she like mean? I just said, I mean, all of us in this day and age have things we print out and mm -mm. things we just keep on a an electronic file that only exists in the wherever it exists in the cloud and, and we never print it. And Your Honor, I have also um, come on, Judge Whitaker. I'm disappointed to at her, Sergeant Gaither, about what she, not what she told them, but in previous um, looking at previous information, having reviewed information that mm -hmm. I know for a fact she kept on a, a terabyte drive. Oh, here I we asked, go. See, you know, see, where is that? Up. And she has told me in the past that the terabyte drive where she had all of that, all of her information about all her cases was mm -hmm. connected to her desktop computer at the time that the hack occurred. So 
I don't have access to Stop the cap. Stop the cap. What? How? So her personal computer got wiped and her external hard drive that she had connected to her computer got got wiped. Do y'all know how difficult that would be to do? To it, she didn't have access to it. Because if she's really saying the only place that this file existed in the entire universe is on somebody else's external hard drive. Not only is she throwing them under the bus, but you're going to expect us to believe they were the only person that had this file. She didn't at some point send it to someone and say, Hey, look at this, check out this file. And it all magically just disappeared during some random hack. Come Jared, on, man. With the other people. And I, Yes, um, Your Honor, I understand what the court is saying, but I do also remember when um, being when questions were put this upon this witness BS. about the items that she had in her file, uh -huh. no one brought to her the discovery that they already had and said, is this what was in your file? Where is Apparently it? nobody knew where this came from. They knew that this was Detective Gaithers, that this was Sergeant Gaithers investigation so i don't the stuff you were questioning her about was not in the discovery she was claiming she did work is it that was not provided and, okay and it may still not exist and we all know i can't remember the dates of the hack but we all know because we practiced in fulton county that there was some gigantic what we call hack of the whole city and APD legitimately lost a whole lot of files that were never able to be recovered so, I mean, that's just a fact. Well, but we have a paper file, Your Honor. I see that. And a hack does not affect paper files. I understand and, that. And Investigator Gaither specifically testified that the, she wrote reports for certain things. They were in her file that has now been lost. Okay. Now, and so you can ask her when she said that, what did she mean? Because, like I just said, I mean, all of us in this day and age have things we print out and things we just keep on a an electronic file that only exists in the, wherever it exists, in the cloud. And, and we never print it. And, Your Honor, I have also... Um, talked to Sergeant Gaither about what, she, not what she told them, but in previous, um, looking at previous information, having reviewed information that mm -hmm. I know for a fact she kept on a, a terabyte drive, I asked, you know, where is that? And she has told me in the past that the terabyte drive where she had all of that, all of her information about all her cases was mm -hmm. connected to her desktop computer. She information who, told I'm me on previous information, about. but in previous, um, looking at previous information, having reviewed information mm -hmm. that I know for a fact she kept on a, a terabyte drive. Sorry. And Your Honor, I have also um, talked to Sergeant Gaither about what, she, not what she told them, but in previous, um, looking at previous information, having reviewed information that mm -hmm. I know for a fact she kept on a, a terabyte drive. I this is a lie. Stop the cap. This is a big lie. Are y'all, this is, and I apologize to everybody who I, I had to rewind this several times because I wanted to hear exactly what she's saying. What she's saying is, Gaither had this file. She was the only one who had this file. She had it on her external hard drive. And Miss Love isn't saying that Gaither said that the information was deleted off of this hard drive. Miss Love is saying she herself knows that she kept the information stored on that hard drive. How? First of all, secondly, okay, say it got hacked. That's easy. Let's go ahead and bring the laptop in, bring the hard drive in, and we should be able to see whether the information was deleted or it was hacked, right? How in the world would she know that? 
She said, I know for a fact it was on an external hard drive. Previous, um, looking at previous information, having reviewed information mm -hmm. that I know for a fact she kept on a, a terabyte drive, I asked, you know, where How is that? You know that? And she has told me in the past that the terabyte drive where she had all of that, all of her information about all her cases was mm -hmm. connected to her desktop computer at the time that the hack occurred. So I don't have access to it. She didn't have access to it. Stop the I know that just from talking about mm -hmm. other cases. Okay. Yes. So I didn't ask her specifically about this one, whether this was on that terabyte drive, because those weren't the questions that I put on her. That's what that was. Those were questions posed to her um, by counsel for each of the defendants. Like, where is this? And okay. Uh, okay, Judge Whitaker. What? We're just gonna take her word for it. <laughs> oh man. So Miss Love is basically saying that her and Detective Gaither had a sleepover, and that was the only time Miss Love would see any information that was on Detective Gaither's hard drive. And she would pull up next to her. You know, they'd have some hot chocolate and some marshmallows, and they'd look, and Detective Gaither would be like, "Hey." Look at my external hard drive, Miss Love. You can see everything here. You can take notes, but I'm not going to send it to you. We're not going to put it anywhere. We're not going to store it in a cloud. It's just going to all sit right here. Stop the cap. Your Honor. Yes, sir. Also, when it's um, time for your honorable court to rule, just so we don't waste time with the jury, the question is, let me show you something no from your way. file. Mm -hmm. And. I'm going to object because even though it's potentially sounds like in Sergeant Gaither's file. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. Rice. Too. Retired Sergeant Gaither's file. It is hearsay. It sounds like I have not looked at it. There were a lot of people Thank looking you, at the Brian. files, but it sounds like it's somebody else's information that somehow got into someone else's report on a phone number of Mr. McMullen. So based upon that, that's going to be my objection. That's how this whole question began. So I just want to give you a heads up. Okay, and, and honestly, yeah, yeah what, it was it's a question about a phone man. number, but what was the question going to be? It was going to be, after she talked to um, Quindaria Zachary, did she attempt to locate or did she have the kidnapping file? Right. Um, was she able to locate a phone number for Demise McMullen? Okay. And I still don't know who's... Um, Whose handwriting that is on the on the phone number information, but it was just going to be what was the phone number. They got Mr. Atkinson. Okay, now well, could you what it was? Fine. What it was would be. I don't know why we have that echo all of a sudden. It's a hack. Would. Hmm. It's another hack. We're another good. Convenient I think hack. we had one of them. And so um, initially what I was asking, because the number, it has already come out mm -hmm. that that is the number. I think on cross-examination, Mr. Steele asked uh, Mr. Sprinkle, did he find communication between Demise hey, McMullen and... This is and hard to watch. Kenneth Copeland is the best I remember. I don't remember, but he specifically asked... Did you see calls between Demise McMullen and somebody else? Mm -hmm. And I came back and said, what number is it that you have for Demise McMullen? Mr. Sprinkle gave 404, that number. That he thought was it, but he wasn't certain. Yes. No, he actually said this is the number. He didn't. Oh, okay. Yes. And so all that I was doing with Sergeant Gaither is asking her, was that, and I started to ask the well, number because it was already in. ask her if she found the number, but. Um, that's literally. But what, what the number was is subject to a valid hearsay objection. So you can't ask what the number was. Okay. Wow. How much longer do you expect to have? With that was the la okay. literally the last question. Okay. We can talk about it during the non-jury days we're going to have, but we have oh, we've got non-jury days coming up. Oh, Jesus. Streamline this case some more. This is you're just going to have to figure out 
a faster way to get to what it is that you want from each witness. I mean, in federal court, you know, they, they might just say, you got an hour with this witness. And I'm... Do they yeah, limit both sides to cross and state? About, um, we'll talk about the witness list next week. And oh, she's Honor, about to chop that witness list. Yes, we, yes I understand. Is, oh, yeah, we'll be done by 10 with this witness, and we haven't even gotten across yet. She's shaking After that After having pen. her all day yesterday. She was here Monday, Judge. Whenever it was. M Monday was two days ago. She waited all day and did not testify. Well, that, that's not the issue. The issue is how long she's on the stand testifying and how long every witness is on the stand testifying and how many witnesses there are in this case. It's just a lot. Your Honor, do the federal... Are both sides restricted to an amount of time? Well, I mean, I would imagine it that it's not like they let one side go on forever, but the other side only gets 10 minutes. <laughs> and given that the state does have the burden of proof, Your Honor. I understand that, which is why I haven't done it yet. But y'all need to self-regulate. I, I provided the court. We're going at it again. God dang. Jeez. So, do the attorneys want to let your clients go have lunch while y'all examine this, or do you think y'all will be done in a few minutes and you want to question? Oh wow! Gaither I was not expecting that. Back and what's forth. our best use of time? I think we'll be done. Oh, okay. Your Honor, also, I'm being um, told I have not reviewed the transcript or anything, um, but I think that. Sergeant Gaither may have said that. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Look at Judge Whitaker. The attitude. You could, you do, you you want, you you could do so. Look at her. Oh man, look at Judge Whitaker. She's so mad. She said. few minutes and you want to question shout out Gator to law and crime great camera what's work. our best use of time excellent camera work i'm clipping oh, this okay i'm You're screenshotting this for my next also, time i'm being um told i have not reviewed the transcript or anything um but i think that sergeant gaither may have said that she left APD and didn't have any of her files with her. I don't know okay. with respect to that testimony if what yeah. was represented is what she said. I've been that may be. That seems to happen a lot that detectives leave and they don't have access. And then for some reason, the DA's office who would have access doesn't seem to be able to get it. But that's just my observation until from other doing, cases. Until they're doing direct testing. When we can, we do. Um, I've been overruled by my colleagues, and uh, we're asking for a little bit of time to review this, and we're asking wow. for our clients to be allowed to... to All right. To well, eat. I don't know if their lunch has quite arrived yet, but it should arrive soon if it hasn't yet. Um, so do we want to reconvene at, like, 1220, which would give you all a half an hour, or 1230, which I, would give you 40 minutes? Because if we're going to... Miss Love has had this for Not two here, years, yeah. okay. and they got to look at uh, it. Twelve twenty will be okay. Lord, well, that might not be enough time if it hasn't arrived yet. But oh, you were going to have it. Okay, I misunderstood. They were going to eat while we were out. Okay. I mean, well, ideally. Well, that's no. There is no way that this group of lawyers can get anything done in fifteen minutes. So no, if we're going to examine right. Detective Gaither. Before the jury comes back at one, we need to be back before 1245 because we're not doing this part in front of the jury. So, 1230. And the defendants can use the restroom before they eat and get that out of the way. All right, see y'all back at one.